And don't forget, folks, Basil has a great news lineup. Matt, uh, op the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call. Just come over to our website at TFNN. You've got to see it right under featured content on the left-hand side. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you can get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 and 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So the bottom line is that if it works for you, awesome. If it doesn't work for you for some reason, guess what? You can get your money back. And, of course, don't forget Basil's on every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Uh, very good. Thank you. Interesting market, this, I must say. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's, like... it's, also, it's also interesting the way it's just rotating through different areas. Uh, as you think something's weakening, it suddenly strengthens. And as something's strengthening, suddenly see weakness. Cues are a little weaker today, say, than the Dow. Just interesting that uh, Russell 2000, suddenly coming alive it's really a fabulous market this i must say yeah it's been a one-way market man there's no doubt about that that's 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 a fact so we'll see where the rest of this summer goes but uh thus that's far right. that's what we have that's right so, i mean even even the patterns the way they're repeating you know i always talk about the a pattern that i call a straight line up or down or an arch or a cup formation and the market doesn't matter whether it's a one minute chart or a weekly or a daily, monthly chart, the patterns just repeat because they're fractals of human nature. Yes. So here's this pattern that I talk about, the H pattern. And I have it in red because if it comes down sharply and then tries to rally, fails at a peak A or a B, and then takes out this left side low, it can go a lot lower. Well, look what happened to the Dow. 34,588 on the 16th of June comes down for 1,000 points, goes to 33,610. Rallies and goes to A, I call it a gray A because all the technicals were weak. But I kept mentioning, I, and I've done this for a couple of weeks now, I've said I use the nine period moving average over the 14 or under the 14 as a very strong tool. Yes. And as long as that, in this case, as long as the green nine period moving average is hovering over the black 14 period moving average, you've got to consider that there's still internal strength. Well, look at this. We went to that arch formation. We failed just under the 34,588. So here's your H pattern. And what happens? It comes down sharply. It even had an island reversal, which still hasn't been filled. And it goes all the way down above the 33,610. Yesterday, the low was uh, 33,000. 30, uh, what was it? 7, 795 or 705. And look at this. It comes back again, and that nine period moving average is getting closer and closer to that black 14 period moving average. It hasn't turned pink, it's still green. And look at that nice candle we've got. So, the pattern I always like to talk about is if I can just find it right here is that there are times when the lowercase h, if it successfully holds the left side low, can stay within a rectangle formation going sideways and then form a lowercase. M. So it looks like two little arches. Yes. And that's what I think is happening here. So I think we're in a containment area as far as the Dow is concerned. If you look at the weekly chart, it's just walking the nine and 14 period moving average. It's holding very nicely. So that's very interesting. So we, we still kept our core position. We had trading positions, uh, which we took off uh, recently for very nice gains. Haven't got in because I think we're sort of stuck in this range. But now look at this, the S&P. Uh, let me just get that right. Let yeah, you know, just... it was interesting, Basil. I was listening to your show this morning, and you were actually a little surprised, I think, that so many cup and handles that you're already gone through are going higher, right? <laughs> so, yeah, th and that's the fascinating thing about a pattern that yeah. you, you are just, you are not the pattern, you are following the pattern. Right. And you've got to keep that in mind that sometimes you have something locked in your mind and something either exaggerates a little bit. But you've got to be prepared for it. So that's one of the things that I'm looking at. One of the reasons why, in fact, we were short the semiconductor index, did very nicely on a very short-term basis. We stopped, we were stopped out today. And then the SMHs, semiconductors were kind of weak. So I'm watching, in fact, I'll do this right now. Look, first the the S P and this daily chart on the left, look how high the nine period is over the 14. That's giving you internal strength, even though the MACD is weak. I know a lot of people use the MACD. 
but you've got to use it in conjunction with other things because this is the last. Uh, we used to think of the Fed as the last. What's the, the last bank of resort? So this is the same thing. This is the the last resort. <coughs> is the nine over the fourteen because the MACD is weak. The stochastic is sixty four percent. That's weak. On balance volume is weak. Relative strength is not too bad. But look at the SMHs. Go closer and closer to turning down, and they just refuse. And today, right. even today, look, there's a red candle down 41 cents, but it's holding very nicely. So that's why I have a lot of respect for the rectangle formation. Goes towards the upper part, goes towards the lower part. How it breaks either of those is very important. So that's that's my view at this particular point. With I'll just give a parameters right now for the Dow. If the Dow Start, it can't just go there once. It needs to, if the Dow actually starts to trade above 34,700, that is clearly a breakout. Let's call it 34,800 just to have a little room. 34,800 on a weekly basis. We've left this, this lower period, this whole area, we've just left it behind, and now we've got that as support for higher moves up. But we could stay here for a little while, and if the Dow starts to trade under 33,400, and I'm using the Dow because just it's my benchmark at the moment, I do the same sort of work with the others. But what's interesting is the AI area. I mean, we are still long bots. The BOTZ is the symbol for the uh, Global X Robotics and AI ETF. So I talked about this H pattern. Well, it went underneath the left side. We're, we're along from, from quite, quite a bit lower down. And what's interesting about this is that it's made this H pattern and it's trying to form a second arch formation. The MACD is still weak, but the and the nine period actually went negative. And that's what I'm saying that you've got to put things together to put to, to get a, a picture that says, I, I've got all my technical indicators, but price is the arbiter of a trend. And in this particular case, it's trying to get if it can close the bots, the BOTZ trading at 2881. Can close um, above the 28.95 high of the 3rd of July on a weekly basis, then you can start to form the cup. And these patterns repeat all the time. So we've got, um, there's one that I've spoken to you about for oh, about four, five, six weeks now. We went along in the 21s of Symbotic and end to end uh, AI, robotic warehouse automation systems. And my target, I didn't expect at all that it would go to the target. Uh, that was made uh, at 28.48 in June of 2022. But it really, it quickly took that out and continued all the way to 53.83. We've taken quite a bit off. We keep trying to get back in, but this is a tough one. Look, it just keeps running to the upside. Yeah, it is at 46.63. Now it's forming the cup formation, so that's good. And another one we got into just recently, uh, this is in, in, in Ovix Corporation. We got in in the 16s and today is at 20. Nice. So certain areas are working. And right, listen, folks, it's very easy to get Battles of News out of Commodore, our website at TFN. You're going to see it right under featured content. You hit that button, you are off to the races. Baz, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The Gold Report.